Hey everyone, welcome to part 37 of my Pokemon game series in Unity. So in the previous video, we implemented the XP gain mechanic and in this video, we will implement level ups. So if the Pokemon's XP bar becomes full, then it should level up, right? So we'll implement that in this video. Special thanks to all my Patreons for making the series possible. By becoming a Patreon, you can support me in the making of the series and get access to some cool rewards like the complete project files of the series which also contains some advanced features that are not covered here. So let's start the video. So in the previous video we implemented the logic for XP gain. So now we'll level up the Pokemon if it has gained enough XP. Alright so to implement level up First, I'll create a public function in my Pokemon class. So I'll create a public function and this function will return bool and I'll call this check for level up. Okay. So in this function, if the current XP of the Pokemon is greater than the XP required for the next level, then the Pokemon should level up. Right? So how can we find the XP required for the next level? We can use the get XP for level function which we created earlier. Alright. So to get the XP for next level, I'll say base dot get XP for level. And for the level, I'll pass level plus one because I need the XP for the next level. So I'll pass level plus one. All right. So in this case, the Pokemon should level up. So I'll increment my level variable. And then this function will return true if the Pokemon did level up and otherwise it will return false. So in this case, I'll return true. And otherwise, if it did not level up, then I'll return false. Okay. So now let's call this function from our battle system script. So here we can call player unit dot Pokemon dot check for level up. Okay. And if this function returns true, it means the Pokemon did level up. Okay, so I'll show a dialog like the Pokemon grew to this level. Okay, I'll say Pokemon grew and I'll get the level from player unit dot Pokemon dot level. Okay, so now we should also update the level in our HUD, right? So inside our battle HUD script. Right now, we are only setting the level from the set data function. So what I'll do is, I'll create another public function which we can use to set just the level of the Pokemon. All right, so I'll create a function called set level. And inside this function, I just have to paste this line. Okay, I have to use underscore Pokemon here since that's the name of the private variable. So yeah, that's all we have to do. And now in the set data, instead of setting the level like this, I can simply call set level. Just so that if we want to make any change to this, we just have to make in a single place. And now we can use this function to set the level once the Pokemon has leveled up. Okay, so from here, I'll call player unit dot HUD dot set level. So once the Pokemon level up, first we are setting the level and then we are showing a dialog saying the Pokemon grew to this level. Wait, I have to add grew to level here. 
so yeah we just setting the level and showing the dialog so next we have to update our XP bar again so this is because the Pokemon might have gained more XP than the one that's required to level up okay so I'll just copy this line and paste it over here in order to update the XP but this time something is different before we level up our XP bar will be fully filled right so this time before updating the XP we have to first reset the XP bar back to zero and then only we should update it so what I'll do is I'll create a boolean parameter called reset and I'll set its default value to false so that it won't reset by default and then if reset is true then I'll set the scale to zero in order to reset the progress bar okay so now when calling this function after the Pokemon leveled up we have to pass true in order to reset in order to reset it all right so now we are done with the level up logic but before we test there is one thing that I want to mention so right now we are using an if statement over here right so this will only check once if the Pokemon has leveled up okay but what if the Pokemon has gained enough XP in order to level up twice or thrice for example let's say I am in level 12 and I somehow beat a Pokemon that's level 30 or something so I got enough XP to level up two times right but if you're using an if statement here it will only try to level up once so to handle that case all we have to do is change this if to a while loop okay so this will keep repeating until the check for level up returns false so if enough XP is gained then it can level up multiple times okay so now we're done with the level up logic so let's test this now so to make this easy to test what I'll do is I'll change the XP yield of Bulbasaur from 64 to 200 so this is because if the XP yield is small like 64 then we'll have to beat a Bulbasaur five or six times in order to gain enough XP to level up but if I just increase this for testing then I'll only have to beat it one or two times just remember to set it back to 64 once you're done with the testing so let's try testing this let me start a battle real quick okay and let me try to beat this Bulbasaur okay so I beat the Bulbasaur and I'll gain some XP so yeah I gained some XP but not enough to level up so let's start another battle and and this time we should gain enough XP to level up so let's beat the Bulbasaur okay so we beat the Bulbasaur and we gained XP and grew to level 13 so and I don't know if you notice but after the level up the level in the HUD was updated and also the XP bar was set correctly so yeah we can also try starting another battle and this time you see that we are in level 13 so we're done with the experience and level up system so next before we stop the video I want to fix some issues that we currently have so the first issue is right now after fighting in a trainer battle if I start a battle with a wild Pokemon then we'll get this weird bug so let me show you the issue alright so I won this trainer battle so now if I try to start the battle with a wild Pokemon then I'll get this weird issue alright so let's look at how to fix it so in our battle system script we have a boolean called is trainer battle which determines if the battle is a trainer battle or not okay and in the start trainer battle function we are setting it to true 
indicating that it's a trainer battle. But the problem is, after setting this to true, we are not setting it back to false from anywhere. So what we have to do is, in the start battle function that starts a battle with the wild Pokemon, we have to set it to false. Okay, so here I'll set this trainer battle to false and you shouldn't have that issue anymore. So I'm not going to test all of that again, but you can go ahead and try testing it. So next let's look at the second issue that we have. So right now, if I walk on the tile that's below the grass, I'll still start a battle with the wild Pokemon. So the reason why this is happening is because the Y position of our player is at 0.8. So in whichever tile the player is, the fraction part will always be 0.8. And inside the player controller script, in order to check for collision with the grass, what we are doing is we are creating an overlap circle at the player's position. So the problem is player's position is not at the center of the tile, but it's above the center, right? It's at 0.8. So when we create an overlap circle at 0.8 and the radius of the circle is 0.2. So what will happen is it will also check for collusion with the tile that is just above it. So that's why we are getting that issue. So to fix this, what we can do is we can subtract the Y part of the position by 0.3 so I'll say transform dot position minus new vector 3 for the X part I'll say 0 and for the Y I'll say 0.3 okay so now what will happen is we will create the overlap circle at the center of the tile which is 0.5 and by the way instead of hard coding 0.3 over here let me just create a constant variable called offset y okay and here instead of hard coding point 0.3 I'll say offset y so yeah let's also do that when we create the overlap circle to check if we are in the trainers view okay So now if we test the game and if I walk right below the grass you can see that we are not starting any battles which means our collisions are working properly. So that's it. I'll stop the video here. So in this video we implemented level up and in the next video we'll make the Pokemon learn new moves from the learnable moves list when it levels up. So before you leave, make sure to leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to this channel. That'll really help me a lot. So I'll see you in the next video.